A family had the shock of their lives when they turned up at the Georgetown Public Hospital mortuary this morning to witness the post-mortem of their loved one, only to find that the body had been mutilated. The distraught parents of Brian Asana, who was stabbed by a man whom the police was trying to arrest, told Capital News that when they reached the mortuary and saw the body, they realized that something was drastically wrong. Now you come to post-mortem the body, my child face is destroyed. If they know the mortuary isn't working, why they don't get the dead them somewhere or tell people not to keep leave the dead here? Why are these people doing what they're doing? It is not fair to us. Asana's mother, Lorraine Mingo, speaking there. Mingo said that they deserve better than this kind of treatment. They know they're so incompetent and they don't want to leave. It's because of the money. People in Guyana is not happy. We are not happy about the situation that is happening in our country. Everybody has a life. They owe everybody a life. And we need a proper life in this country. Asana's father was also very upset. He said he does not know what could have eaten the body like that. I'm, I'm disturbed beyond disturbance. I'm saying that I left my son's face intact. I know he was dead. Left his face intact. And when I go in there this morning, it was very upsetting to see part of his face mutilated and his nose gone. You know? I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what happened. The face got a big um, thing there and his nose is not there. The relative stage a protest outside of the mortuary calling for the authorities to put their act together. Asana was encouraging a young man to surrender himself to the police when that young man turned on him and stabbed him in the neck. For Capital News, Raul Collins.